Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different from the usual. Um, I am going to be doing like a little haul of all the products I got from both BoxyCharm and Ipsy. Mainly because the month is almost over and I just wanted to get it done. So I decided to do it together and combine it. And I actually did my face with all the products. I think I used pretty much all the products that came in both boxes. So it was a good combination. Like I got a perfect set of items to use for this look and I don't know I just it came out perfect for this month um but yeah and then so I'll be giving you my thoughts about the products I won't show you like how I use them and stuff well, I mean I won't show you the process of me using them but I'll show you where and how I use them um but yeah if you want to know and see what I got just keep on watching all right so first off uh boxycharm um they switched the pamphlet I think because this is like I don't remember if last month was like this or not but this one is like the little foldable thing um and this one let's see let's first start off from like the bottom so firstly I got this glossy touch and soul pretty filter glossy skin balm and this one says um oh an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sense Sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. And this one retails for $32. So basically it's a primer and moisturizer in one kind of thing. And um, I, I used it. Um, yeah, so I didn't put any primer so I used this as my primer and moisturizer. And I think it's good. And it's kind of cool because I wasn't sure from where if I should open it like this or like that. So I just went like this because it kind of looks like this is the top. And it is, um, it's weird, like the top is pretty, it's like a little dome kind of thing, I don't know. And then the product is in this, and then, but the lid covers the whole thing, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is what the, that's what the product looks like. And I think it has, I don't know if it has shimmer in it or not, but it gives you a little type of glow to your face. So I must have a little bit at least. To make it look glassy, like see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's nice. And then for the eyes, I they, I got the marvelous mauve Stoves of colors eyeshadow palette, and this one's a five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. This palette is a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye looks, and it retails for thirty two dollars. And it has like the names in the back. It has, it's nice. I've, this is the first Dose of Colors palette like this. I have an eyeshadow palette by them, but it was a collab with a, another influencer. And this one is the first like Dose Dose of Colors that I have. It's just the five pan matte ones. I really wanted the red ones, like the Marvelous, what is it? Marvelous berries. I don't know. It was like a red the red palette. I really wanted that one or another like bronzy one And so but I got this one so I didn't use all of them. I used like these two and That one I believe and I mixed it together. I think at one point I mixed this one with the dark one or Somehow I mixed the lighter colors with this one I believe and then this one on my eyes I don't know if you can tell but like on the outside on top I used that one and mixed it with that and then this a little bit in there and yeah so it's a good eyeshadow palette for like everyday use but I don't know not from it's not my type of colors that I would go to but it's still a nice palette and then next up we got this Steve Laurent jelly highlighter well, I didn't realize it was a jelly highlighter um, but this one says this jelly highlighter formula is bouncy lightweight blendable water resistant and so fun to use watch it glide on with ease using your favorite brush or simply dab it on your finger for an effortlessly glow um, and it retails for $26 I didn't know it was like a jelly I, I saw the highlighter but I didn't see the jelly part so I'm gonna swatch it ooh that's awesome I put it on and everything but I never felt touched the actual the actual product so that's what it It does feel like fre like when you touch it in the palette, it does feel like cold, like jelly. It's nice, and I am actually wearing it on my um, on my cheeks. 
on top of blush. Um, but yeah, it's nice. I only put it right there, and then the rest of the face is something else. But it is, it is. I like how it feels in the pan. So next up, I got this Jante Blue lip pencil, and let's see, lip liner pencil, the master and master any desired lip color and produce long wearing same power with jaunty blue lip liner pencil the creamy highly pigmented formula glides on effortlessly and can be worn alone used for flawless lip contouring or a long lasting base for any lip color and it retails for five dollars and i've had these before i think i've had them as eyeliners i believe and i didn't like them in the eyeliner version but I do know, I think I got a really red one from them before. I haven't used it, but I do. These are pretty nice for $5. They do, like, go on nicely, and they're creamy. Oh, that's the color right there. So it's a nice shade, nice neutral shade. Alright, and then last but not least, I got this Iconic London Gloss. And I didn't look at it good, but it looks really nice. It's a nice um, nude color. And this one says, uh, oh, it's actually a lip plumping gloss. No wonder I felt it. <laughs> like, I didn't pay attention, but I do feel my uh, lips tingling. And this one says, Iconic Lip Plumping Glosses are the ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. The high shine formula is infused with a biomimetic peptide, which helps to support natural coll collagen production for more defined and voluminous looking lips and it retails for $26 wow that's crazy um yeah I don't usually use the plumping glosses because they kind of burn my lips at least the other ones that I own kind of do to the point that I take it off because it's too much but this one is okay I put it I did put it on top of the um liner the liner the Jante Blue liner and so it's a combination of those two. So it's a good combination. This is so pretty though. It looks so nice on its own. Um, and this one's in the shade Love Struck. It's just a really nice pink. Pale pink. It's pretty. But yeah, so here I used all the products. I used on my eyes, the highlighter, the lips. And underneath the face, I used everything. So the total was $121 worth of makeup for this box. And I only paid $21. So I basically got over like $100 worth of free makeup in here. And it's awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to keep it, um, BoxyCharm. It's like my favorite subscription right now. Beauty subscription. So yeah. And they're coming up with like better versions of it I guess. So I did sign up to be on the wait list. I think it's actually two different ones. So I'm a little confused on it. Because they have the regular one. The like up from regular monthly one and then the seasonal one which is $50 which is the boxy Lux box and I love that one so I'm keeping that one and this one right now as well I don't know about the other one I haven't started officially the other one they're still waitlisting people but I think it starts in November so if it goes through in November then I'm on there but I did like sign up as soon as I saw it the first few minutes that I saw posted I went and signed up so I'm on the wait list. We'll see how it comes out. Like if I get it. But they were promoting some really nice products in there for next month. So I think I'll be getting two boxes from BoxyCharm next month. I believe. Maybe. Not quite sure. Or if it's just one. But upgraded. I'm, I'm a little confused on that. But yeah. Alright. So now I'm going to move on to Ipsy. So this is the first month I get Ipsy in a while. Because I paused in my ipsy subscription because i just wasn't like happy i upgraded to the ipsy bag plus but the products i kept getting weren't like i don't know they weren't like products that i wanted like high-end products that i usually brands that we know whether it's just like random products and i wasn't too happy so i paused it and i finally i guess i forgot i meant to pause it again to keep it pausing until i just felt comfortable that i wanted again but I forgot to pause it for this month and I uh, realized it just charged and then I just like, okay, whatever, I'll get it. So I'm kind of happy that I did though because the products I got are pretty nice. So let's see. Firstly is the Ipsy bag. This month is the Betty Boop. They've been doing like, I apparently have been doing like themes. I haven't been in the loop about what's going on with Ipsy. But now 
I uh, see that I went back this one since I got it back. I went back and looked at what they were and what things they've been doing. But I think they've, been, they've been doing themes with Ipsy. So this month's theme is Betty Boop. It's really cute. I got it a little dirty already, but here's the little Betty Boop. And then this side is just like black matte sequins. And then the little heart. It's a good size bag. I think it's bigger than, yeah. It's bigger than the ones we usually get from the regular $10 boxes. So this one's nice. It's a nice size. Alright, so over here, the first thing I got is the Perlise, Perl, yeah, Perlise Blue Lotus Brightening Serum. And this one says, Bring on the glow. This antioxidant-rich, lightweight serum uses a powerhouse of nine plant extracts to nurture, brighten, hydrate, and repair your skin. Without irrita irritation or redness and the hydroquin free formula gently fades discoloration too. And then it has a little tip. It says gentle enough for morning and night. Pat a pea-sized amount of this serum onto clean skin. Let it absorb into your skin. Then follow up with your go-to moisturizer. <gasps> and this retails for $65. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. But I do like this brand. Like I have some sheet masks on them and stuff. It's really nice. Um, and I forgot about this product because I kind of combined everything. And I was going to try to do a whole face with it. But I forgot about this product after I had already used the glossy the glassy one from back BoxyCharm. So I just kind of put this a little bit around my eyes <laughs> underneath the neck. Um, so I haven't used this fully on. But I can't wait to try it. Next up is this Jolie Cosmetics Spectra Stick and Stella. I haven't heard of this brand before but it's it has a nice packaging I was a little confused about the packaging because you can like push it in I don't know like a it's weird but it's pretty cool like if it has a spring in there so it just looks like a lipstick and it's a, yeah I was tempted to put it on my lips <laughs> probably could work though um, so it's basically a highlighting stick it says named after the French word for pretty Jolie creates one-of-a-kind, high-quality products that inspire confidence. This universally flattering rose quartz highlighter is infused with micro-glitter that glides across cheekbones, flawlessly blending onto skin for a subtle, dewy shimmer. Tip. Swipe this stick directly onto the high points of your face, cheekbones, brow bones, cupid's bow, and bridge of the nose. Then blend out with your fingers or a damp beauty sponge. So I did. I only put it, like, on my cupid's bow on my nose and then on top of the eyebrows slightly on my chin but I didn't care for it a whole lot when I put it on my nose and then I rubbed it it kind of took away my foundation so then I just like rubbed it on my finger and then dabbed it on top of my eyebrows and then up the nose a little bit and it's nice it has a nice little like almost really glossy wet look it was really nice though and that one retails for $26 if I didn't say it already up next is the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot and Martini. Um, so this one is another. I own two other shadows like this. It's just basically like a pressed pigment. No, a pressed shadow like, um, yeah, a paint shadow. It's really pigmented and glittery, chromey color. A metallic color. It's some. It says a metallic bronze. Olive with a mirror light shine and the rich creamy feel. Your lids have been waiting for a shadow this good. This loose pigment is made with 80% pure pearl minerals and instantly melts onto skin with serious lasting power. Plus, it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Tip to amp up the mirror effect, dampen a brush before applying your lids as an all over shadow or metallic liner. So, I didn't wet my brush, I just used it with a, a dry brush. And it still came out really nice. So let me see if I can swatch the color real quick. Well, so that's... I stuck it into the pot. Let's see, where can I put it? I'm just going to put it right here. Yeah, it's really pigmented and nice. Okay. And that's like kind of blent out but if you don't blend it as much you just leave it there it's super pigmented like super bright and nice the other ones i have is like a red one and a peachy pink one it's really pretty i thought when i saw it in my um 
the ones like you know how the ipsy gives you the uh, sneak peeks and stuff. I thought I already had the shade, but I don't. And I'm glad because it's really pretty. Alright, next up is this Betty Boop times Ipsy Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. And this one, it says, inspired by the iconic beauty muse Betty Boop, this Ipster exclusive cheek palette is here to help you obsess over you. This peachy skin smoothing blush and highlighter trio mixes ultra blendable uh, matte and pearlescent finishes for a lit from within glow. Tip. Swirl your favorite blush brush into the pan, topping, tapping off any excess and lightly sweep onto the apples of your cheeks in an upward motion for a fresh lust. Or a fresh flush. And it retails for $28. Oh, did I have it upside down? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. And those are the colors right there. They're nice. Like, I used, at first, I started using this one, but it was too light for, like, my skin for the foundation. It was too light, so then I moved in with the middle one, and I kind of, I guess I kind of ended up combining them. But yeah, I finished off with the middle one. I haven't used this uh, right one yet, but the other two, I'm always attracted to those, like, shimmery um, blushes. Just adds, like, a little highlight to the face, and it looks really nice. So it's a nice little blush palette. So last but not least is this Farrah Brushes Midnight Prio Pro Trium. Perfectly balanced weight comfort grips and a subtle midnight blue tint to the fibers. This trio of blush brushes is the epitome of luxury. Made by a team of beauty lovers, Farrah Brushes are 100% vegan, cruelty free, and expertly designed for flawless application. Tip, use the 20FF straight to buff your foundation, so it's this one, um, on, into your skin, and then the cheeky and 1218 for blush. What? Yeah, so the cheeky and 218 for blush, and stippling for 40FM to stipple on highlighter or bronzer for a flawless airbrush finish. So yeah, this is, I used this one for foundation. It was okay, it's not what I'm used to normally. But it was okay. It was good. I think I could use that one for concealer better or to like clean up around the eyebrows. That one would be good too. And then I used this one for blush. Yeah, I, yeah, I did use for blush like it said. And then the stippling one I used for contouring slash bronzing. Um, but it's kind of weird. It doesn't do because it's... I would have thought to use this one for foundation. But since it has a flat top... But I used it like the thing told me and I don't know, it was okay. I just not my favorite brush for that reason. For um, contouring, it's not my favorite. Or highlighting, I think it's kind of weird for highlighting. But yeah. So let me see, let me add up the total for this month. So the total for this month's box is $189 and I believe I paid $26 or around there. Let's say $27. So I got over $160 worth of makeup for free. And that's awesome. Like this box was okay. The past few boxes that I got, they weren't my favorite at all. So this one was really nice. I, I think I'm going to give it another try and see how it goes. By the end of this year, let's see, we got two months, so maybe I'll just finish off the year with Ipsy. And then the beginning of next year, I'll see how I feel about renewing my subscription with them. Um, because they do have other, they have an even bigger box than this one, I believe. But it's monthly, and it's like $50 a month, so I don't know if I want to do that. This one is only 26 so I'm like, upgrading from the regular glam bag that was just $10. It's still an option there, but... I didn't like the samples. I don't know. Like, it's samples, I know, but they weren't, like, that great things. I kept getting just random um, brands that I didn't really like. And so I decided to upgrade and see what the products would be on there. And uh, the last few boxes I didn't really care for. So this one is the best one so far. So I'm going to keep trying it and see how it goes. Then the other one, I, prob I probably won't upgrade to the $50 because it's $50 a month. That's a little high. Which I know for BoxyCharm, I'm basically going to be paying $50 a month for if I get the upgrade. But I'm going to see if I like that one or if it's two boxes. I don't understand yet, so I'm going to just give it a try first. And then I might end up canceling something between both of them. I don't know. But yeah, so this is what the end um, result. Oh, I actually didn't say I used this on my lid. The Tarte eyeshadow pot, I used it on my lid. That's the color that I have on my lid. I used all the brushes and then the Betty Boop I used as well on my cheeks, the blush. 
and the highlighter stick I used as well on the top of the like of the eyebrows and on the nose and then um, I believe a little bit on my chin, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna leave the links for both these subscriptions down below. Um, and then if you're interested, go ahead and join and click that link. And then I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.